Hey, what's going on, y'all? So as you all know, I get really excited and happy whenever a company listens to their customer, right? And earlier this year, I was looking for assets to use in NVIDIA Omniverse, photorealistic scan assets to use in NVIDIA Omniverse, and I didn't really have a lot of options. And long story short, I actually ran into Scan's library, so I pretty much bought a bunch of their assets, and I ended up creating that short film in NVIDIA Omniverse that was featured in NAB, and I showed that to Scans Library people and I said, hey, look, I just used your assets to create this. I like your assets. It's really cool. Can you make it more compatible with NVIDIA Omniverse? Because right now it was import FBX. I have to assign all the materials manually. And fast forward to last week, here we are. And USD for NVIDIA Omniverse is now supported with Scans Library. You have no idea how big this is. Because as you all know, we can't use Megascans, Assets, Quixel, in NVIDIA Omniverse. So this right here is going to be my alternative when it comes to NVIDIA Omniverse. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to show you how easy it is to use their asset with NVIDIA Omniverse. Okay. First things first, we're going to go over the icons so people won't get confused. So the N means the item is new. And the F means it's free. Okay, that's all it means. They go by credits as far as this website goes. I'm going to go back to Scans Library and I'm just going to grab a rock outcrop. There's a really good one that I like here. It's a mossy blue rock. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on this and you're going to see that it has 8K texture. This is an actual asset and I already purchased it for 8 credits. And I'll download and now you're going to see all the options. You're going to see that we have now Omniverse.USD. Yay. Amazing job. Thank you. And I'm going to change this to 8K. And then what I'll do is I'll click on Omniverse. And this is going to download this to my hard drive. And I'm going to unzip it. And it's about 522 megabytes. This thing is high quality, my friends. This is no joke. This is some good stuff right here. So I have Create open right now. But you can do this in Machinima as well. I'm just using Create because this is the most current version right now is 22.3, which is the newest, newest version that supports Ada, Lovelace, GPU. And then I have the folder where we downloaded that asset. And really, all we have to do is drag and drop this into the scene. And I'm just going to say, I'm not going to save the file. And that's going to go ahead and import that asset straight in with materials already applied. Just like that. Now, that is integrating and I absolutely love it. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and open one of these sky assets and I'll turn on ground. It's just kind of show you what this looks like. But yeah, this is some really solid rock. Pun intended, oh my God. Um, let's go ahead and switch it to path tracing. And oh, that is a beauty, that is a gift. That is amazing. Looks amazing. Killer, killer asset. Eight credits. Absolutely amazing. So that's that's really it. That is how easy it is to import Scans Library assets in NVIDIA Omniverse. Now, game changer. Absolutely game changer. If you use Omniverse, man, what are you waiting for? Go check out Scans Library. They have a lot of good stuff in there. Obviously, I'm going to try to make something using Scans Library again. I know they have a beach forest coming out really soon. I don't know when it's gonna come out, but I know it's coming soon. Um, I can kind of show you the preview of it. If you go to their website, go to Scans Library, they have the beach forest right here. They actually created an entire map that they're going to release. I'm allowed to say that, but but they are good. So they're pretty much going to come out with a map with this forest with the assets here. I cannot wait. As soon as as soon as it comes out, I'm going to be go ahead and make a video about it. Okay, but that's pretty much it, man. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think about Scans Library. I think it's the perfect alternative to Quixel Mega Scans as far as NVIDIA Omniverse. I'll see y'all later.